This is a respiratory station for MRCP patients, and I'm Dr. Puneka, examiner for the station. And along with me, I have Dr. Samira Sohail, who is the candidate. Hello. Hello. So we've just seen this patient. Would you like to present your case, please? On inspection, this gentleman was breathless at rest. On general physical examination, he was also tachycardic, and there was evidence of clubbing as well as central cyanosis. Okay. On examination of his chest, he had bilateral and inspiratory crackers at both bases that did not shift with coughing. In short, I think the diagnosis here is pulmonary fibrosis. Right. Okay. So you think the patient has pulmonary fibrosis? Yes. Can you think of the causes for this condition, please? Okay. There can be several causes, the first one being idiopathic, such as usual interstitial pneumonia. Okay. Pulmonary fibrosis can be associated with connective tissue diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, and ankylosing spondylitis. Okay. It may also be caused by occupational exposure to certain agents, for example, silicosis, asbestosis, or exposure right. to dust. Right. It may also be a result of drug toxicity, especially with amiodrone use. Right, okay, well that's good. I'll just show you this x-ray. Would you like to just point out the main findings on this chest x-ray, okay, please? Okay, sure. So on this x-ray, I can see bilateral extensive fibrotic changes in both lungs, which is in keeping with my diagnosis of pulmonary fibrosis. Okay, that's good. So, um, apart from a chest x-ray, can you think of any further investigations? How would you like to investigate your patient? I would like to request a high-resolution CT scan for my patient to see any evidence of bibasal reticular changes or any honeycombing. Okay. Any other investigations you'd like to think of? I would like to order some pulmonary function tests and I would expect to see a restrictive pattern. What, what do you mean by restrictive pattern? Um, reduced force vital capacity with a normal FEV1 or FEC ratio. Sorry, you mean you have a reduced FEV1 and a reduced FVC with a retained FEV1 by FVC yes, ratio? Yes, yes. Okay, good. What, what other defects might you see on pulmonary function tests? Um, there should be a reduced diffusion capacity for carbon monoxide. Right, okay. Can you think of any other investigation? Say, for example, you have done a chest X-ray, a high-resolution CT scan, as well as pulmonary function tests. Can any other tests add to making your diagnosis? I would consider doing a lung biopsy. Right, right, okay. So for example, you have found no secondary causes or no associated conditions for your patient. How would you manage your patient? The mainstay of treatment for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is supportive care. So supplemental oxygen um, and pulmonary rehabilitation. Um, systemic corticosteroids are no longer recommended because there has not been um, enough evidence seen from randomized controlled trials. Right, right, okay. So um, can you think of, say for example, your patient is not elderly and your patient wants to consider all sorts of possibilities. Can you think of any other possible referral for your patient? I would refer my patient for a possible lung transplant. Right. So uh, do you think that might offer some hope for your patient? Yes, if the patient is young, fit and healthy and suitable for a transplant, that might prolong his life. Right. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you.